everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to access feedback on Canvas. And I have to say that I think Canvas makes it a little hard for students to find feedback, so I hope you'll find this video helpful as you want to look at your instructor's feedback. Okay, so first of all, when your instructor has recently graded something, you will have, next to your grades, you'll have this little number and that tells you how many comments or assignments you have had recently graded. However, it does disappear after a while, so just keep in mind that even if there's not a number, you might still want to look at your grades. So you'll notice here I'm in the student view, um, so that way I can show you what it looks like on your end. So I'm going to click on grades, and when I want to go and find my feedback, I want to look for things that have blue dots. So the blue dots here indicate that um, your instructor has given you feedback that you have not looked at. It's basically new feedback. And you'll see here um, that I can tell what kind of feedback I've gotten. So here, if the blue dot is next to the score, that means it's been graded. If you have a blue dot next to what looks like this clipboard right here, that means you have rubric feedback. And if you have a comment, um, sort of call out conversation um, icon with the blue dot, that means that your instructor has left you comments. Now I have put in fake comments on this particular essay, so I'm going to go to that and show you what it looks like. So first of all, you'll notice that Canvas is actually kind of annoying in this way, um, in that it doesn't automatically display your assignment submission, which I find annoying because I want my students to be able to see my feedback, but there we are. So what you want to do is click on view feedback here, because if this has a yellow button, that means that there is indeed, I mean a yellow circle, that means that there is indeed feedback for you to view. So if you click on it, you will then see that, hey, um, in this case your instructor has put a comment, an annotation on the document. Now as an instructor, I do this for daily grades. So for reading note worksheets and other daily grade assignments, I often put comments directly on the document itself within Canvas. Now it's annoying because as you can see, I can't see the whole comment. Thanks Canvas, right? Um, but first of all, you can make it full screen so you can actually look at it. You can also download it. So what you want to do is look for this icon. Um, hold on, it's not showing it. Um, let me go here, okay. Um, if you want to download it, you look for this icon with the arrow and the line underneath, and then you can download it. And it will download the annotated PDF as you see here, which is very nice, I think. Okay, um, the other thing you want to look at for essays in my class um, is the rubric and the general comments and the file that I have uploaded. So let's go through those um, one by one. So first of all, here's your overall grade on the assignment, and that will be true for any assignment in this class. Um, the essay grades will have rubric feedback. So for those, you click show, re show rubric, um, and it will show you where you fall in particular categories. For my class, these are meant to show you um, where I score your essay in general categories. So they're meant to help guide you as you think about how you might improve your writing both on this particular assignment as well as for other assignments. And so that way you know what you need to work on. Um, so you'll see here this green line and arrow and that tells you what category um, your essay has been scored. Okay, so that's the rubric. Um, and if there are other people, which there won't be, but there could be, um, you would go there. Okay. So the other thing that you'll see here, um, sometimes students submit blank worksheets. That does happen on occasion. Uh, so if I tell you to resubmit, this is where you go to click resubmit, and you can submit the assignment again. This here, and you'll notice I use the fake student name, um, that I just made up for the example essay. Um, I just used their name. This is where I will have my overall comments on your paper. So this is where you'll get a sense of the feedback that I've given you in general about your essay. 
Now, the other thing, or rather the final thing that you need to look at is this example document. So this, exam this document here is your paper that I download, and I do this for um, the major essays and assignments in the class. Uh, I download them and I use Microsoft Word's review and commenting feature to make comments on it. So let me open this up so you can see what it looks like. So it'll download and then it will open. And let me move it over to my recording window so you can actually see it. Uh, so there we go. And I will enable editing. There we go. Now, first of all, I strongly recommend that you look at your essays in either Word Online or the desktop version of Word, simply because I've had a number of students not be able to see all of my feedback if they look at it in Google Docs. So please keep that in mind when you are, um, when you are looking at my feedback. So a couple things that I often do on essays. First of all, you'll notice this grammar, this yellow highlight, that generally indicates a grammar issue. It might be a comma, it might be a missing word, it might be an improper citation, but these are grammar problems or mechanics. And I highlight them so that you have the opportunity to look at them and see if you can figure out what's going on. If you can't, I am happy to explain them. It's not a test, it's merely there um, to guide you as you look at the essay and draw your attention to that particular part. Now, the other thing you'll notice here are these red lines, and that indicates that I have made a change in the document itself. And how you look at those is you go to review, and that's something that you'll see in Word Online as well, um, and click on show all markup. And then you'll see, for example, you can kind of see I deleted spaces. That's what I did here. Sometimes I'll change a word, um, and that would look like this. Like if I decided to delete this, it would look like that. So it makes the changes in the document. Um, sometimes I, show, I do that to show you what it would look like with the change, okay? Um, and so you click on show all markup, and then you can actually see it. Um, now, you'll also see here this comment. Um, if you are seeing only the little box here, the little comment box, not the actual text of the comment, what you do want to do is go to show comments and click on show comments. Um, this is what a comment looks like. It generally refers to a specific part of the essay in which I'm giving you feedback. Now, if you download this document and you want to use this as the starting point for your revisions, you want to delete the comments. Um, and the easiest way to do that is click on delete and then select all comments in the document. And you don't need to worry about deleting the comments that I've given you um, or not being able, like if you accidentally do it accidentally or something like that, because the original is still stored on Canvas. And so you can see it there and that makes it very easy. So I hope that helps you kind of know how to find feedback and please let me know if you have questions because again, as I said, Canvas makes it very annoying to find the feedback and I always wanna make it as easy as possible for my students to um, see their feedback. And now I'll point out, once I hit refresh, um, after I've looked at the feedback and I've clicked on it, um, and I can also do it by clicking here so I can see it in grades, um, it will then turn um, the blue dots off. So you can do that way, so that way you've actually seen it and it won't keep telling you, hey, you have feedback. So keep that in mind. But again, please let me know if you have questions. I'm always happy to answer them, um, especially regarding finding my feedback.